Hello friends, I am Lakshman. You are watching Learn Programming by Lucky Sar YouTube channel. I hope you are enjoying my videos. So please subscribe to our YouTube channel and also click on bell icon to receive latest technology videos. In this video, you will know some of the UML entry questions and answers. Here UML stands for Unified Modeling Language. It has been spreading its roots among the designing and visualization part. This field has a lot for the potential seekers and the individuals interested in the visualization in software engineering. So I am going to explain the most beneficial UML entry questions that will provide you with enough direction towards your interview. So let us see one by one. The first question is, what are the advantages of creating a model? There are number of advantages for creating any model like they help to document the entire system. They help to make templates for the construction in the system. They help in the visualization of the system. The structural dimensions of a system can be specified. The last advantage is modeling is entirely accepted by the engineering techniques. The next question is what do you understand by UML? UML stands for the Unified Modeling Language and it is also a graphical language for visualization, construction and documenting for the artifacts of any of the system. You can efficiently create the blueprints for various aspects before the actual physical implementation of the system occurs. The next question is what is known as static diagrams? Static diagrams are also known as structural diagrams. They are class diagram, object diagram, component diagram, deployment diagram. The next question is, what are the elements which are used in activity diagram? The significant elements which are used in the activity diagrams are activities, transitions, decision points and states. The next question is, what are the messages and dynamic diagrams? Messages are the specifications for any sort of communication. When a message is passed, then the estimated action is expected, which is basically a statement for the execution that held prayer. Dynamic diagrams are also called the behavioral diagrams. They are use case diagram, sequence diagram, collaboration diagram, activity diagram, and state chart diagram. The next question is, what are the difference between activity and sequence diagram? Sequence diagram basically show the way of processing or execution of the process with any of the sequence. Sequence diagrams are entirely focused on the representative interaction among different objects. On the other hand, activity diagrams actually detect the following phases. The first one is depicts the operational workflow in the system. The second one shows the actions and sequences for a number of objects. The next question is, can you name the types of modeling? There are basically three types of modeling used. First one, architectural modeling, behavioral modeling and structural modeling. The next question is, can you name the different elements with the collaboration diagram? There are basically three types of elements of a collaborative diagram. The first one is object and second one relation. The third one is message. Here object is the interaction in a system always takes place between two objects. An object is always depicted by a rectangle with the name of the object. This is preceded by colon and an underline. The second one is relation. It is also known as an association which is always among the objects which are linked with the connection in a system. 
they are depicted by placing the qualifiers on both ends the third one is message an instance of communication from one point to the other significant point or destination is a message it always depicts the interaction that is offering between the objects in a system the next question is what are the elements which are utilized in the state chart diagram the elements which are in the state chart diagram are initial state state transition event and action final state the next question is what are the sorry can you give us a brief defining architecture architecture means with the structural and behavioral aspects of the entire software system it significantly monitors over the software uses and the functionality evolving around it with architecture the entire performance is economical and all the technical constants can be well managed the next question is what are the modeling diagrams that are most commonly used the most frequently used modeling diagrams are nine they are use case diagram class diagram object diagram sequence diagram state chart diagram collaboration diagram activity diagram component diagram and deployment diagram the next question is what are the different parts of deployment diagram the deployment diagram consists of nodes components dependencies links so that's all about some of the frequently asked uml entry questions for freshers as well as experienced persons so thank you for visit have a nice day